Hey, mathematicians, let's go ahead and work on counting groups of coins today. Our main focus go is going to be with pennies, nickels, and dimes. So if you have a whiteboard nearby and a whiteboard marker, go ahead and grab those because today we're going to practice counting groups of coins together. All right, pause your video if you need to while you find those materials. And I'm gonna go ahead and share my screen so that we can get started. All right, first graders, I have my whiteboard here and I also have some coins. Now, you may not have these coins at home and that's okay. I'm gonna show you groups of coins here. So we can practice drawing them on our whiteboard if you don't have these coins. So I'm gonna select some dimes, a few nickels and some pennies. So I've got a collection of coins here. There are dimes, there are nickels, and there are pennies in this collection. Now, as I look through, I want to sort them. I first want to find the ones that are the most. Remember, dimes are 10 cents, so they are worth the most. So I'm gonna go ahead and take out my dimes. There's two dimes. I see Teddy or Theodore Roosevelt on the front and that olive branch and torch on the back. So I know those are dimes. Next, I see I have some nickels. I've got three nickels. I know they're nickels because I see Monticello on the back. It says five cents, right? So I see I've got those next. And then last, of course, I've got my brown, brown pennies, copper brown and worth one cent. So I can draw this on my whiteboard too. I want you to go ahead and draw with me. First, let's draw our dimes. Now I'm gonna label this with a D to show that this is a dime. And I have two dimes. Go ahead and draw two dimes on your board too. Next, I'm gonna draw my three nickels. And for nickel. And then last, I've got three pennies. P for penny. Now that I have my coins on my whiteboard, I can go ahead and show what each of these is worth, what their value is. Now I know dime, dime, little and thin, I remember you're worth 10. That's right, this dime is 10 and this dime is 10. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, you're worth five cents. I know that. Nickel is five. Penny, penny, easily spent. Copper brown and worth one cent. That's right. One, one, one. So now that I've labeled my coins and I know their value, I can add them up to find the total amount that I have here. When I have one dime, I have 10 cents. When I have two dimes, I need to add 10 more. I know my doubles, 10 and 10 is 20. Now, when I go to my nickel, I need to add five because that's the value of a nickel. So if I have 20 and I add five more, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, I'm adding five and I get 25. Now let's think if I add five more, I can count by fives here, 20, 25, 30, and five more makes 35. Now you see, I've added all my tens, I've added all my fives, and now I'm gonna add my pennies, the ones that are worth one cent. So I've got 35, 36, 37, and 38. So this group of coins is 38 flowers? No, that's not the unit I need. I need the symbol cents because we're talking about money. This is 38 cents altogether. I counted my dimes, I counted my nickels, and then I counted by ones when I got to my pennies. And together, I have 38 cents. Did you get 38 cents too? All right, let's clear our board and try another example. I just had to grab a tissue real quick. 
All right, I'm gonna go back to my money pile and select out some coins. I'm going to select some pennies. I'm going to select some dimes and I'm going to select some nickels. All right, let's see what we've got. Here is what I found. I'm going to organize or group them. Let's start with our dimes. Nickels next, and then pennies. A lot of pennies this time. Okay, let's take a look to see what we have. Let's go ahead and draw this on our whiteboard. I see I've got one, two, three, four dimes. I put a D on those circles to remind myself that I have four dimes. D for dime. Oh, one nickel. And one, two, three, four, five pennies. We've organized, we've sorted. Now it's time to think about the coin value of each of these coins. If I have a dime, 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 little and thin, I remember your worth. Did you say 10? That's right. Let's label our dimes with 10 to help us remember we'll count by tens when we're counting the dimes. Four dimes. So I wrote 10, 10, 10, and 10 to show that each of those dimes is worth 10. Next up is my nickel. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat. You're worth five cents. I know that. And last up are our pennies. Pennies are each worth one cent. All right, now it's time for us to add these all up to find the total amount of money in this group. So I'm gonna start with my first dime. I know that's 10. 10 and 10, 10, 20. That's right, 20 comes next when I count by tens. If I add 10 more, I've got 30 and 10 more makes 40, 10, 20, 30, 40. But wait, I'm out of tens, so I can't count 10 more. I have to see this time instead of 10, I need to add five. So I've got 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 45 when I add that nickel but I don't wanna add five more. Instead, I need to start counting by ones because now I'm at my pennies and pennies are worth one cent. So I've got 45. If I add one more, 45, 46 comes next. And then 47, 48, 49, and 50. This set of coins is 50 pieces of candy. No, we're not counting candy. We're counting coins. We're talking about money. This is 50 cents. So when we sorted, first we sorted, then we labeled, and then we counted. There are different steps we take when we're counting groups of coins. And the first thing we want to do is organize the coins in groups, finding all the dimes, nickels and pennies. Labeling those on our picture with the amount that they're worth, followed by counting the total below. These are steps that you can take when you're sorting and counting money at your house too. Maybe you want to find some coins around your house. Maybe you can even dig in the couch to see if you can find any pennies, nickels, or dimes. Or ask mom and dad if they have any change to spare that you might want to practice counting. All right, first graders, we have one more activity to do together before we wrap up our math. And today's math practice is going to be using, I'll show us, this activity called coin matchup. This is in your um, week 21 packet. So make sure you find this paper that says coin matchup. And you're also going to need the other paper that has pictures. It also says coin matchup at the top. I've already cut my coins out, but it has pictures of all the different coins as well as the amounts that they're worth. Okay, so you're going to need this. Pause your video while you find those papers. 
And I already cutted these out. So go ahead and pause to cut yours out as well. And we'll get started together. You're also gonna need a glue stick. So find those supplies. And when you're ready, you can join me again to work on this coin matchup together. We're going to identify the front of the coin, the back of the coin, and how much it's worth. So we will need to have all of those things cut out and ready to go. Again, pause now while you get that ready. All right, welcome back. I am going to go ahead and share my screen so that we can take a look at this together. I've got my coin matchup page here, as well as all of the little squares that I cut out. I'm going to go ahead and organize them on my board just so that I can see all of them. If you have space on your table or your workspace, you can also go ahead and kind of spread them out. So that way they're easy to find or easier to find when we need them on our chart. There's a lot of little squares we're gonna need. All right, so as I have these ready, I'm starting to think about what coin do I want to start with? Hmm. Well, as I'm looking, boys and girls, I think I'm missing one of my squares. Oh no, silly me, I might have to look for it. I really wanted to start with the penny. And as I'm looking here, I'm missing the word that says penny. Oh no, that's okay. Here's what I'm gonna do instead. I'm just gonna leave this one blank for right now. And actually, I'll just go ahead and write it since I've got something to write with here. Penny is the coin we're going to start with. So go ahead and find your paper that spells the word penny. P-E-N-N-Y. And let's glue that here for the name of the coin. Now I want to start with the penny because it's the least amount. It's the smallest amount. So let's think back. What does the front of the penny look like? If you need to, you can also look at your money books we made last week. The front of the penny. Hmm, I'm going to look. And as I look closely, I found the front of the penny. If you remember, you might recall that we see Abraham Lincoln on the front of the penny. I know it's a penny because we see Abe Lincoln there. The back of the penny. Hmm. I'm gonna look for the one that tells me how much it's worth. A penny is worth one cent. So I'm gonna look for those keywords to see if I can find the coin that says, oh, there it is. It says one cent. The back of this coin tells us it, how much it's worth. The back of the penny tells us it's one cent. Now we know penny, penny, easily spent, copper brown and worth one cent. And this amount tells us the dollar amount. Well, I know there are zero dollars in a penny. Oop, there it is. There's that dollar sign that I was looking for. It has zero dollars. There's the decimal point to show me now we have cents, zero tens, and the one cent for the penny. And last, I need to find one cent to show the amount in cents. There it is, one cent. This symbol is the cents sign. If you need to, pause the video now to make sure you have all of the penny pieces glued. Let me go ahead and write this a little darker. All right, when you're ready, you can join me again. And next, we're gonna look for the word nickel. Nickel, nickel, thick and fat, you are worth five cents. I know that. N, 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 nickel begins with a letter N, N. I see a word that starts with N. This word says N, I, K, O, nickel is my next. Okay, let's think, where is my nickel? Do you see it? That's right, here it is. Let's grab it and glue it 
so that we can see what the front of the nickel looks like. If you need to, you can always grab your book from last week that looks like this, that shows you the front of the nickel. I can also look inside to see what the back looks like for the next box. Oh, I see this one. It tells me five cents. It matches the book. That is the back of the nickel. We know the nickel is worth five cents. It has zero dollars. It has zero tens and it has five ones when I'm looking at it with the dollar sign. And next, for cents, I know I need to find the one that says five cents. That has a five in it, Oh, but it also has a two tens. That's 25, that's not the one I want. Oh, there it is. Pause the video if you need to, to find all of the pictures for nickel. The word nickel, the front, the back, the dollar amount and the cents. All right, next up is the dime. Dime, dime, little and thin. I remember you're worth 10. I've also got my dime book here to help me if I need it. So as I'm looking for the word d, 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 dime, I hear that word begins with the letter D. There's my word dime. What does the front of a dime look like? Let's look. I see it there too. Hmm, now the back. Oh, look, there's that word dime again. It tells me on the back of the coin exactly what it is. And I know the dime is worth 10 cents. So I need to find the one that has the dollar sign. Oh, there's a dollar sign that has 25. That can't be it. Oh, there's the dollar sign and there's the 10. This one is 10 cents, zero dollars and 10 cents. And last, I'll find the one that matches with the cent sign. Okay, that means we're left with quarter. Qu, 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 quarter. All right, here's the front. We just learned about the quarter yesterday with Mrs. Nolan, and we know that the quarter is the biggest coin out of these, this group of coins, the penny, nickel, diamond, quarter. And it's got the eagle on the back. Sometimes, though, quarters might have different pictures on the back. And we know it's worth zero dollars and 25 cents. Or we can also write it with a cent sign, 25 cents. Oh, look what showed up, my word penny. It was just under the paper. All right, first graders, if you need to pause this video so that you can see how we matched each name of coin with the front picture, the back picture, and each of their amounts using a dollar sign and using a set sign. If you need to, you have these books nearby. Get out those money books that we created last week and yesterday to help you with this activity. I hope you enjoyed learning more about coins and how we can count them as a collection. And also thinking about all the different ways we can show these amounts and coins. We can use words to describe them. We can show the front and back and we can use a dollar sign or a cent sign to show their amount. Great job, mathematicians.